saw down there, this is part of the reactor compartment ventilation to exchange air. So obviously it's all contained. What this does is we don't fuel the ship at all. So you the ship fuel. has 20. Oh. It has a problem with the liquid. They never fuel. No, no, no. Ever. So the, the ship has 23 years worth of, uh, of uranium. We do take fuel for the aircraft uh, each day, but for the ship, uh, the ship is refueled in the middle of its service life. So, so let's take a look at our aircraft here. And it's very beautiful. Wow. High five. High five. Very, very beautiful. beautiful. Sarah was born. Place in little town, little village. First day to realize now. These are these are the orange stack. Carry Nothing like this anyway. Actually, I think. Okay. What am I supposed to do? The best view in the house. Favorite spot is Jerusalem. Everybody knows Jerusalem, but don't plug it. Anytime you come to the ship, you obviously have to have a coin from the ship, my Thank coin, you. and then you have to have the strike group. Uh, Thank you. So I appreciate you coming out. Obviously, you probably got some pictures and from everywhere. Well, it'll add to the collection. I don't have that. I don't keep them. I keep those ones. Thank you very much, Ambassador Friedman. A proud American and a great champion of the American Israel Alliance. I want to thank too the commander of U.S. Naval Forces Europe, Admiral Michelle Howard. Thank you, Admiral, for not only hosting us here, but giving us a few tips, which we will use. Uh, we have similar uh, military establishments, so it's not going to be a problem. One of these uh, vessels costs, uh, I'm told, naked, without furniture or planes, about 11 billion. We'll take two. <laughs> Commander and officer of the USS George H. W. Bush, Captain Bill Pennington, uh, and the commander of the Carrier Strike Group 2, Rear Admiral Kenneth Weitzel, and all the officers and crew, pilots uh, of this magnificent carrier. I want to recognize, too, the uh, Minister of Saad Katz, Minister of uh, Transport and Intelligence. The Deputy Chief of Staff, General Adit Bukhavi, Commander of Israel's uh, Navy, General Eliyahu Shafiq, and all the uh, delegation that came here today. This is my second visit to an American aircraft carrier. Some 20 years ago, when I was first elected Prime Minister, I visited uh, on the deck of another carrier. Uh, so much has happened in those uh, two decades. Uh, our alliance has gotten stronger, higher, most intimate, and we recognize a basic truth. Israel has no greater friend than the United States of America, and the United States has no greater friend than Israel. Uh, this is, you can applaud, this is true. <laughs> Mayor Haifa, whom I recognize too, you know how true that is. Now we stand on the deck of a the mighty aircraft carrier of the United States of America. And a few miles here, across the sea, is another mighty aircraft carrier of our common civilization. It's called the State of Israel. This, uh, this great aircraft carrier is a floating island of America. It's a symbol to the world of freedom and victory. Uh, a brave crew that works off this ship helps keep the world secure from the threat of terror. This carrier has served as a base for tech strikes against the Islamic State, and the war against ISIS should be seen for what it is, a clash between good and evil. 
and every sailor on this ship should be immensely proud that you are serving good. Your families should be proud of you. The American people should be proud of you. I know that they are. So whenever your grandchildren uh, ask you where you were during this fight for civilization, you can say, we were on the front lines. We were on board the carrier, George H. W. Bush. I thank you, the people of Israel thank you, and the free world thank you. And as we stand on this massive aircraft carrier, we can uh, see this other carrier called Israel. Israel too is a symbol of the world, to the world, of freedom and victory. It, help, it too helps secure the world against terror. It too is on the front line on the battle between civilization and darkness. Israel and America share the same values and the same vision. Our strength derives from our democracies, our diversity, and our dedication to individual liberty. We are both peace-loving people, but we recognize that sometimes we need to fight those enemies of peace, those who want to chop the head off our common society. We recognize that to secure peace and maintain peace, we must be able to defend ourselves. This is what we do together. Tomorrow you will celebrate America's 241st Independence Day. Israel, your closest ally in this region and beyond, will celebrate with you. In this spirit of solidarity, I welcome you to Israel, a carrier of American ideals in a sea of despotism. We share those values. This is our bond. This is our friendship. Happy birthday, the United States of America. Thank you.